Hello everyone, I'm Abdullah Al Saad. I'm a graduate student of MIME from the University of Toledo. So as a part of your class, like as a report as a, a part of your report requirement, you need to provide the time constraint. So I'm gonna show you how to find out the time constant using Microsoft Excel. This will be real quick. So here we have our data opened in a Microsoft Excel file. Remember, you need to open your file in Microsoft Excel. Otherwise, in case if you lose your data, then you'll not be able to perform your calculation. OK, so here we can see this column right here it indicates the time and this column right here this indicates the temperature of first thermocouple so this shows the temperature of first thermocouple against the time all right so and the next one, the next column, it represents the temperature of the second thermocouple. The time constant calculation for the both thermocouples will be same. So I'm gonna just show you one and you can do rest of the calculations. Like you have to repeat the same thing again and again. All right, so I'm gonna select these two columns first and then i will insert a chart so you have to insert this this chart like like this one scatter with smooth lines all right so after you know after getting the nice plot over here this plot will be similar to that you saw in your lab view so we will be interested in this region only. You can see this region where it takes the temperature or the thermocouple was, you know, feeling the temperature. So we, initially it was at this temperature, like 24 degrees centigrade. So this is the initial state, initial condition. And this is the steady state or final condition. So finally it reached 63.5. Yep. So okay. Uh, I have not talked about this column right here. It was actually the temperature that you measured with the thermometer, the actual work temperature. Okay, so the thermocouple is supposed to acquire this much temperature. Let's see. Finally it acquired sixty two point three. You know which is close to 64 okay so this portion right over here it should it is supposed to be a step like this like this a straight line there should be a straight line because it, it it is supposed to be a step response but it is not so however we're gonna uh, we're gonna find out you know we're gonna find out the time constant for this one only you can do the same calculation for rest of all uh, thermocouples all right so for that we need to select this area so it like you know this step it starts at 4.3 seconds so we can start from here like you can see a nice little like uh, there this is a straight line but this is uh, somehow it's a little down than this straight line so you have to start from here this is 4.3 and it ends at somewhere here like it, the straight line starts from somewhere near here so you can select 7 so you need to select this must region like 4.3 we said 4.3 to 7 you know okay after 7 you see these are all same at least pretty much same right so we can select this mouse area and then we can insert i'm sorry 
so after selecting this one let's let's move it somewhere else we don't need it anymore or we can delete it so this is our targeted portion we are going to analyze from this portion only so let's insert another graph for this like the same graph oh no not the graph i'm sorry so you have to just copy paste it somewhere let's paste it here okay doesn't matter so now what we need to do we need to transform the time so let's uh what we can do we can actually we, we need to start from zero so we are going to transform this axis to zero so what you need to do we need to write a function over here so minus we are going to fix this value so what you need to do we need to write a person a uh, dollar sign we need to insert a dollar sign so okay now let's grab it so you see it starts from zero now next we need to write a formula let's see what the formula is so our steps that are to be followed was we have to select some points that we already have done now the initial step should be at initial temperature like those are all these these things i already have discussed so now we have to plot this thing we already found the effective time so we have to plot this error function okay so this error function you see here logarithm of t minus t infinity that is the you know end or steady state temperature and t0 is the initial temperature again t infinity that is the steady state temperature so we need to find those find out the column of these data of this data and then we will we can plot this data so here we need to write a function so let's write a function log so let's put double parentheses now we saw that it was you know t minus t infinity this t means this temperature like the current temperature the actual temperature that the thermocouple is measuring then this temperature only that is the final temperatures let's put let's make it fixed so we have to put dollar sign before okay and then then we need to this is our initial temperature so let's put it like this minus this is our final temperature again so we have to put dollar sign before each one of these numbers and later so to make it fixed okay all right so that's our formula now we need to grab it all the way down there and you can see so this is our effective time and this is the gamma or you know the error function okay so let's plot these two guys right over here let's select these two columns okay so you see this is going down according to the lecture it should be it's a logarithmic graph so it should be a straight line so we need to do some little manipulation we have to add the trend line we have to select linear that's already been selected so this linear let's keep it at linear we need a linear line we need to start from zero so we have to click set intercept and we need to see the equation so let's click or let's check this option okay so we can see the equation you see so here this equation 
means the equation of this dotted line right over here and the number here in the figure like 0.77454 that means it is 1 over tau this is the slope for this equation and the slope for this equation is 1 over tau it's basically make negative 1 over tau but you know we can cancel the negative sign from either case either sides and then it will be you know 1 over tau will be 0.7754 so the tau will be you know I'll just reverse it 1 divided by 0.7754 so 1.2 this is our tau so that's how you can find out that you know the tau or the time constant for one thermocouple so you need to repeat this action for this thermocouple again this is thermocouple 2 the same way you need to select this one and this one like you need to hold the control key and then this select these two columns plot insert another plot again you have to see where it start to you know sense the temperature and then where, 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 where does it end then you have to select that portion only you have to analyze only that selected portion like 10 or 15 points then you can go ahead and find out the slope for that equation hence you will find out the time constant for that equation i mean time constant for the thermocouple so uh, also uh, before posting these pictures in your report don't forget to change the title you, you also need to add the excess so you can do these things over here i'm not going to show these things to you but i think you are gonna do this i assume you will insert the name of the axis in your graph because that's the norm all right so so that's what you need to do you just the slope and the time constant from the slope all right and yeah so you have to calculate six time constant in total don't just uh, you know don't just uh, calculate one and forget about the other one so i showed you one thermocouple i showed you the calculation the steps for one thermocouple but you need to also insert for other thermocouples so there will be two time constant for each case like 40 60 and 80 there are three temp temperatures three cases there will be three uh, six six calculations again uh, like uh, for for one thermocouple like for say for thermocouple one for three different temperatures the time constant shouldn't vary that much like uh, i showed you it's 0 0.7 like uh, one over tau is 0 0.7 for first one so it should be 0 0.7 for the first one like for 40 degree it should be 0 0.7 for 60 degree and it should be 0 0.7 for 80 degree also all right so it might be 0 0.6 or 0 0.8 but it shouldn't be way further than 0 0.7 so you have to be careful about that whenever you are choosing the t infinity or t zero you are choosing the correct number otherwise you are making a mess and if you make a mess like there will be a deduction so always be careful about that all right so yes that's all for today this is very easy i think you will get this and you can do this uh, it will not take much time so but my video took longer like it's 14 minute now i'm sorry for like this long video you can make it faster by the play option and then yeah so yes you can contact me anytime uh, through my rocket email or linkedin or anywhere you get me you can grab me at my office or in the hallway or niche anywhere all right okay see you have a good weekend or whatever right bye bye